Hello everyone and welcome! So today for my best of series I'm gonna make bolinho de batata which is stuffed potato balls stuffed with ground beef yum! This by far is one of my favorite dish as a child my grandma used to make those all the time and they are simply divine these are for sure the perfect comfort food. Yesterday we had a winter storm, so there's a lot of snow outside, it's super cold, so I feel like this is gonna bring some warmth inside the house, so let's do it. Okay, you're gonna start by peeling about two pounds of the golden potatoes, then you're going to cut them all into small pieces. Put the potatoes in a big pan, fill with the room temperature water until it covers all the potatoes. In the stove top, on medium high heat, add about one teaspoon of salt, mix it and let it boil until soft. In a pan on medium high heat, heat up about one and a half teaspoons of olive oil. Add two small onions finely chopped and let it cook for about two minutes or until it's translucent. Add three cloves of garlic finely chopped and cook it for about one minute. To the pan, add about one and a half pounds of ground beef and smash it with the help of a wooden spoon. Add about half a teaspoon of salt, some pepper, and one teaspoon of sweet paprika. Mix everything very well and leave it the meat until it's brown. Then cover the lid until most of the water is evaporated. Meanwhile, drain the soft potatoes and set aside to cool. To the meat, add one handful of fresh parsley and it's ready. After the potatoes are cool, transfer to a big bowl and mash it everything very well. Then add one and a half onions thinly chopped, two cloves of garlic thinly chopped, a handful of fresh parsley, two handfuls of grated parmesan cheese, and then two eggs. Mix everything very well. It's time to add the flour to the mix until you see that it's not as sticky to the touch. About two and a half to three cups of flour, adding a little bit at a time. To make the balls, first starting by putting some flour in your hands. Then get some of the mixture and with the help of some flour, open the mixture in your hands, like a little pancake. Then add one tablespoon of meat and roll it to close it so we won't see the meat anymore and form a little bowl. Keep forming the balls until you see that all the mixture is done.
In a big frying pan on medium high heat, heat up some oil. Put some flour in your hand and then get about five balls and put in a pan. Now I'm going to let it fry until they are all golden brown on each side. So we're gonna have to keep moving it. About 50 seconds to one minute per side. Next to the frying pan, line a plate with paper towel to help absorb some of the oil. Using a paper towel, clean some of the brown flour left on the pan, then put some more oil and finish frying all the balls. Okay, the moment of truth now. Look at this. Mm. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Mm. If you like a little bit of hot sauce, this is just perfect. Mm. Mm, this is so good. I hope you try it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.